Hello everyone, I want to tell you a gruesome story about how I was almost kidnapped by strangers. At the time, I had finished school and it was during the summer holidays. I decided to work as a seller in a big store because I wanted to earn some money before studying at university. I liked my job and I had a flexible timetable. It was really cool. One day, I don't exactly remember why, but I had to stay at work longer than usual, so I missed my bus. I didn't take a taxi, but I decided to just walk home since I didn't live so far away. I passed two blocks or more, and suddenly a huge black jeep with tinted windows came around the corner. At first, I didn't pay attention to it because there are many cars here, but for some reason I was becoming frightened. The car didn't rush forward. The suspicious vehicle was driving right next to me. It was weird that the number of the car plate was all muddy, but the car was clean, as if it had just been washed. So that car was following me, and I was really scared at that moment. At first, I thought that maybe the driver just wasn't around here, and he'd like to know the way. But it was just a thought. Since a black jeep is an unusual thing for our village, it looked quite attractive. The car kept following me, and my fear was growing stronger and stronger. In front of my house, it was basically a wasteland. There were no houses or buildings. It was like a horror movie for me. This place had a bad reputation. Once, a girl was said to be dishonored by an unknown person. In that moment, I thought about what would happen to me. I tried to be calm and not show my fear, although my heart was ready to jump out of my chest. You can't imagine what I was feeling. I decided to take my phone out of my bag and start calling someone and speaking as if they were going to meet me soon. But I didn't do that because the car was already two meters away from me and this was a good opportunity to drag a person into the car while they were distracted. Fortunately, there appeared two other cars going towards each other at once. The jeep immediately drove away from me. I felt safe then. Moreover, I saw people walking along the road. I joined them and reached my home safely. Being at home, I drank some hot tea, but I still couldn't warm up. Those people from the black jeep could have done anything to me. Maybe they were going to rape and kill me, or maybe they were going to harvest my organ and dispose of my body by burying it in the forest. The third option is the worst. Maybe they were going to sell me for a sex slave. I didn't tell anyone about this incident. I was on the verge of possible death. Two weeks later, a young girl disappeared in that place and she hasn't been found yet. I would like to know how to behave in such situations because I didn't really behave properly at that moment. Now, if I ever miss my bus, I go home by taxi. You shouldn't spend money on walking home or whatever because life is more important. Life really is a precious thing and we shouldn't have to spare our money on it.